God bless you, Mom. Chris Pearl T. Batacandolo, an elementary teacher of Kagan de Oro College, Venma Education, a private school located at Maxonial Street, Carmen, Kagan de Oro City. As part of our Task in Education 105 with the topic of Global Education and the Global Teacher, I have your five questions for you to answer, Mom. Number one is, what is your teaching styles? What are my teaching styles? Well, as a teacher for seven years already, I've met a lot of kids with different personalities and behaviors. And those experiences of mine strongly supported the notion that there is no one best teaching style that could make them all learn in just one setting. Therefore, it's important to have a set of teaching styles. And for the longest time before pandemic, I am, I have been an authoritative teacher. I settled in the middle, that means not too permissive and not too authoritarian. For me, it's important that you set limitations and boundaries because if, there, if you are too permissive, I think the classroom would be in chaos. That's why we set limitations and boundaries for us to organize the events that, is hap that are happening in the classroom. And then also, it's important that you are not too authoritarian. Uh, kids should, kids' uh, interest should be taken into account also. It's important that we need it's important that we set high standards for the kids, but it's also important that we communicate to them why are we setting those standards. Well, aside from being an authoritative teacher, I have applied a teaching style, some teaching style also, like being a facilitator and a delegator. And I'm telling you, it's not easy to shift from one teaching style to another especially when you are used to your own style but for the sake of the kids why not well nowadays it's important that we teachers are flexible it's important that we can adapt to the changes in the environment so if this is now the trend or this is now the interest of the kids, so let's try to learn or let's try to adapt them. Uh, what matters most is at the end of the day, your kids are engaged. The more the kids are engaged, the more windows of opportunities to learn open. How do you manage diverse learners? How do I manage diverse learners? Well, I take into consideration the learning styles of the pupils. After profiling on this, I make sure to incorporate teaching strategies that are beneficial to them based on their learning styles it takes a lot of effort though but it's rewarding to see your pupils so engaged during your lesson aside from that i also encourage active learning i prepare setups that would encourage them to engage with the lesson and to engage with the other learners i don't force them to engage okay but the setup would leave them with no choice but to engage like for example group activities in group activities all members must participate that's why everyone is engaged now for the mental and emotional health 
I don't worry about that because I make sure that I, along with the class, establish a healthy environment where negativity like shame and prejudice is not welcome. How do you get along with the new normal? How do I get along with the new normal? Well, it's so hard to fit in at first, especially because everything is so vague. The new setup brought by this pandemic is not an easy one for me. It's a lot different from what we are used to, from the classroom setup that we are used to. But I can say that I have adjusted a bit to it. Thanks to the administration and to my co-teachers who have been of great help to me in these trying times. I am still adjusting to it, but my thoughts are positive. My mind is positive also that whatever struggles that we are facing right now, we can endure these struggles and hopefully we can overcome these struggles and be back to the setup that we are used to. What are the ways of enhancing or improving education? What are the ways to enhance or improve education? Well, for me, there is one way that I can think of to improve our education. And that is to help in improving our education. And one best help that you can give is to improve ourselves as teachers. As the notion goes, you cannot give what you don't have. So if we want to improve our education, we should start it within ourselves as teachers. Let's make sure to become the better version of ourselves every day as we continue to learn and fit in in this new normal. So let's make sure also to improve ourselves by means of attending webinars or maybe searching ways to improve searching ways to help ourselves become effective teachers to our students in that way we can improve education as well by being a strong support or foundation what is your view or opinion about global education and other things you've done or about to do to be globally competitive teacher? What to do to be a globally competitive teacher? So, I, I guess we should start it within ourselves. Aside from the skills that we need to develop in order for us to go along with the demands of the society, locally and globally we also need to develop a certain attitude that would help us in becoming a globally competitive teacher and that i believe is to have or is to build a foundation of openness so once we say a foundation of open, openness, it's simply as trying to understand the world in your own perspective and trying to understand the world also with the perspective of others. Thank you very much, Mumper, for your time and effort. More power. God bless you and your family. Bye-bye.